Get ready. Well, luckily, Kendra Arch is here today and not tomorrow. Exactly. <laughs> I would have to take a rain check on that one, yeah. I think. Yeah. Back with some great ideas for your holiday baking. So what have you brought for us today? Well, we're going to start out with some cutout cookies. Most people associate Christmas with cutout cookies. Yes. And that might be the only time of year that they do cut out cookies. But that's because they're intimidated by how to roll them out or that they're more work. I yeah. hate but rolling out. I, I hate rolling out. I, and I'll I think that a right lot now. of people do because it's kind of messy and you don't know what thickness you're well, going to get Well, and that's the it. thing. Like, sometimes you have a cookie that you've burned because the other ones are fat and I just can never get the right thickness. Right. Well, and that's where oh. this tool here comes in really handy. It's called an LTD dough board. And what it does is it has these different, uh, you can take the end off of here, okay. and it has different slots on the sides of different heights that you can make oh, your I board. Oh. So I have it set at one quarter inch because that's so see, what I yeah. like of my... So it's a quarter inch down. Right now. It can go anywhere from an eighth of an inch all the way down okay. to I think it's three oh, quarters of an inch. That's so a good idea. whether you want to do cookies or you want to do pie crust or a lot of people roll out uh, any types of different breads on there that they may want to fill or something right on here. And it contains most of the mess. That's another thing. A lot of people don't like the yeah. mess of cookies. But you just um, lightly dust your board with some flour and then the rolling pin here is the width is more than the width of the go ahead oh um, well, no oh no <laughs> and well, did you hear me say I hate it? well and there's a reason why you hate it because you don't yeah it it's not and sometimes you gotta Watch pull it out. More. okay so so anyway you get the correct yeah, thickness all gotcha. the way it can't be any thinner than what you have so here. So look at that. Yeah, you're just going to roll that. Right. And this one thing I like about this is that your kids <laughs> can do you it. Quiet. By, you well, you want to keep uh, you want to keep kid. the you want to keep the the uh, rolling pin on the sides of the board here. Okay, That's I see what why. you're saying. You're doing yep. fine. Cuz you were Jen. going Go off ahead. of it. I but was really trying to work. Yeah. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Perfect. So it's not it's not bad. And then the I mean my kids of all ages, I have a 5-year-old up to a 13-year-old and all of them use this. Okay. And so it's nice to like I said, the mess pretty much stays contained right there. Yeah, that's, the that thickness. is fancy. So is very cool. you just take your cookie cutter and lots of times your cookie cutters are going to stick to your dough. Yep. So best thing to do is if you have a you can dust them with flour okay. and then just cut them out. The hardest part is getting your kids though to put the cookie cutters as close together as possible. Oh right. Instead of one in the middle and yeah. having Wasting to roll all it all good out. Yeah. But anyway, then you bake your cookies according to your recipe. Okay. And then once they're cooled, then what we're going to do is we're going to paint them. And this is oh, another thing cool. that's really easy for, for kids to do, as well as adults. And it just takes a, a little steady hand if you want them to look really nice. Okay, but, you know, okay. just let your kids or grandkids or whoever you have. There's some green Got over there. It. And then right. green will stand out better for oh, you. Oh, okay. Here we go. Um, Thanks. This... Paint, cookie paint is just made up of corn syrup and uh, powdered sugar okay. and a little bit of water. And you put it on, you just want to stir it up, and you can put them in uh, containers that you can just add different colors to it. Gotcha. And then... Oh, I'm getting some red in the green. That's Sorry. okay. Phil. <laughs> You want to use paint brushes that are made just or that are you're going to use only for your food though. You don't want to go grab the ones that your kids have used on the watercolors. <laughs> just enough good why advice. Not. Good advice. And I don't so, think that would taste very good. What yeah. a and this is nice to I mean it's easy to work this around and then you're saying that um, some of your decorations like you're using over there will stick. They'll stick right okay. here. If you put like a, a layer on and then you do some yeah, accents I mean. to it. It'll stick on when it's wet. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Have some. Uh, Good thing we have an uh, area to contain white the balls mess. On your there. <laughs> All right, we'll just get this out of the way. Look, here we go. I did a great. Exactly. Normally, this is Bill's job to ruin everything. Well, Kendra, really quick, we're out of time, mm -hmm. but uh, how can people find this uh, out and more ideas? Cakeandcrumbs.com. Cakeandcrumbs.com. Awesome. We're taking a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go away.